All right, just to give you guys an update so you're not sitting here wondering what the hell is going on. Currently, Steam is being a bitch. Uh, it's telling me that Steam is not online, and because it's not online, it cannot launch the game. But I am online, obviously. I'm streaming, so, you know, what the fuck?
Alright, so Steam's being dumb. I guess I'm not playing Total War Tuesday. Uh. Okay. You know what? Fine. Fuck it. I know what we're gonna do. I know what we're gonna do. Just give me a second when it's edit info. Alright, I'm changing the game. We're gonna play Midnight Fight Express. Because the game's fun and Steam's pissed me off. What the shit? No, stop. There we go. Okay. Now. It just needs to, you know, work. Come on over. There we go. Three minutes. Midnight Fight Express, if you don't know, is a kind of a top-down beat-em-up game. Reminiscent of, like, Streets of Rage and the Ninja Turtle games, things like that. I've played it and beat the story mode. I uh, have not done all the challenge. You do challenges, and the challenges will, like, challenges, you get different suits and stuff. There's, like, 40 levels. I think we'll start at the beginning and just go through some challenges, have a little good time. So you have like every all of this crap unlocked. You can customize your guy. Like give him a bag for it on his head and he could be shirtless. You have some sort of pant. Or it could just be in boxer briefs. Give them gloves and shoes. You can mess around. Well, no, no, the playground is, uh... Playground's like a testing ground, how you learn how to do everything. You can mess around with different tattoos. Uh, hair color, skin color. All of that. Progression, see... Ta-da. All right. Let me see here. Do, do, do. We have to complete the level without dying. Easy enough. Get to the bro tail in less than 180 seconds and defeat 15 enemies using weapon. Skip dialogues and cutscenes. Yes. We're just going to breathe through this. 
and maybe you know maybe later we'll go back and throw through the cutscene if you, if people like it enough it's a fun little game it's very violent Knock this dude's tooth out. Look, a gun. Ha. Ah. So the thing is, you actually pick up a gun, you find a quote unquote. Uh, uh, wrong quote unquote. Is wrong. Um, yeah, I think it's a uh, prototype or something, but it's a, it's a gun that supposedly uh, 3D prints its bullets. So you never actually ro run out of ammo. It's just that you have different types of guns, of ammunition. Kids back. <laughs> Boom. Alright, I did it without dying, and I did it in less than 180 seconds. I did not get uh, the 15 dudes with a weapon, which is fine. Alright. Let's move on to the next one. I feel like I should go back to do the story, be more involved. The story is interesting. But the thing is to do the challenges, you have to actually beat the, beat the mission and then you replay the mission to beat the challenges. Find a night figure. Take it with you on the train. Defeat Little Tony with his own gun. Defeat four enemies using explosions. Alright, you know what? This button. Yo. Theme's not wanting to work. It's why I'm playing this. In case you missed it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't understand. Steam kept saying, it kept saying that there's, uh, it was in offline mode, even though it's, you know, obviously connected to the internet. So I just gave up. I couldn't get it to work. Start playing this. Welcome to, f to, uh, t Midnight Fight Express. The story of Babyface. What's going on with the TV? A package? That's weird. Why is there a package? And why is it bouncing up and down? Because there's a drone. What What the hell?
Why? Hold on. See, there should be a talking thing here. Not like, uh, there's no speech. But for some reason, it's not stopping and doing the normal cutscenes. Yeah, there's this part. I mean, okay. I don't know. I don't get it. See, the little drone should be talking to you. See, I tried that. I tried to... When I went offline and then tried to hit tell it to go online, it just didn't do anything. Are you the fight cup police? No. I am a guy who woke up with amnesia. I can do photo mode. Yay, the game has a photo mode. Yeah. That's basically what he what what the story. You wake up from with amnesia and you choose violence.
Oh yeah, guns. Guns are a thing. I have an odd, odd large number of shots with this gun. I'm disappointed. Yeah, this tells you everything you need to know. The problem is... I can be wide as fuck. Coffee bean, spinach, chili, blue tea, raspberry, pistachio. <laughs> Uh, this game, uh, Kit showed it to me months and months ago. His, it was like a, a, it was like a trailer for it and they were fighting on top of a train and it looked really cool and then it came out and then I saw it and it was on sale for, was it on sale? No, it was in the Xbox Game Pass and I was like, Oh, it's finally out. Okay, I want to see what it, how it plays like. So I played it, and it's really cool. It's really fun. I get a skull face tattoo. I don't have any money. Well, I've got some money. I keep hitting the wrong button. I think it's hilarious to just run around in your under undies, but as naked, whooping these dudes' ass. All right. It's supposed to give you a story, but it's not giving you the story. The drone is being is talking to you, and the drone's like, "Hey, man, you're like super badass. We should work together." To save the town, because this town is under control of these evil gangsters or whatever. And you just go with it. Like, there's no real, like, hey, why should I do this? Uh -huh. It's just like, alright, sure, why not? I woke up with amnesia. I choose violence. Let's save the town. Oh, sure, now he fucking talks. Look. We take Leo Tony down, we deliver the first major blow to this whole mess. <laughs> like explode Piper Square big. Death and the destruction will distract the media and do-gooders. Give the other gangs cover to do their dirty deeds. Wait, you hear that? better hurry up there's also a lot of uh culture references like later on especially later on <laughs> okay Oh, that guy's got a gun. That's not fair. Oh no, it's bulky bozo. 
Who the fuck are you? Wait, don't answer. I want to be able to tear to hear your bones breaking when I crush them. Eh, kiss my ass. Fuck you. Because, you know, as we know, propane, propane tanks explode when you throw them at people. Square, piazza, plaza. What's, that's all the same. Don't you know which one's the biggest? Freaking walking Wikipedia. Shut the hell up and get the damn boom boom on the truck so we can go level your precious pizza already. <laughs> Bozo's bro tail. All right. Ta-da! <laughs> and then you get weighted, rated on how well you do, how many times you die, things like that. Then again, you go back after you've done this and you, uh, you can do all the challenges for this specific level. It's easier in the future after you unlock a lot of stuff. Like, there's some... There's some moves, there's some skills that are really good, like, I never used the slide, but this, the long range attack is amazing. Because you just jump like that, you just jump from one dude to the other and start, start wailing on him. It is real useful. So anyway, here we are at the bro tail, time to go take on Lil Tony. All right, yeah, so the game starts. You are in a police interrogation room. You have been handcuffed. You're being hold, You're being interrogated by these two guys who claim that you're a super badass criminal and you basically destroyed the city and it's all your fault and you're going to go to jail. But you need to, you know, but you, ha you claim to have amnesia, so they're like, hey, just tell us the story from the beginning and we'll... You know, and it'll help you get your memory back, and who knows, maybe it'll prove your innocence or lessen the sentence or whatever. So, that's you playing through the levels is your character recalling the events of what's going on. So this guy is like, you're telling us a chalking drone gets delivered in a box to your apartment and you just go with it? You just wake up and choose violence? Sounds like a real crockpot of slow-cooked bullshit to me. <laughs> The shit shank has no clothes, but for the sake of interrogation, let's say we believe you. Drone, sleeper cell, and all. Sounds like you were definitely a tra trained fighter before tonight, whether you remember it or not. Now, that doesn't automatically mean you're a criminal, but fun fact, this city's got more criminals per capita than not. Fun fact. In your sick, twisted mind, you might think that implies we're bad at our jobs. Well, fuck you. It actually does mean you're bad at your jobs. Probably. <laughs> Drugs. Not even once. <laughs> Pull it back, McClune. Pull it way back. Let's give the ghost a chance to prove they're one of the good ones. Please, ghost. Continue. And so your character, whose code name is Babyface, for whatever reason, continues his story. Breaking into the bro tail. Taking out Leo Tony. Bullet in the head, chair to the skull, gotta get it done. Beyond that, I'm a clean slate. If we want to find the other little Tonys of this city, we'll need to dig up any dirt while we're here. Now stay on guard. Somehow, this skis bag's loyalists are more devoted than shit on a pig. Wow. I'm a miserable, fu miserable fuck, apparently. And there's Tone Dog.
Give me the knife. The knife is important. Wait. Is that a rope? Wasn't there a guy in like... There was a guy in like MMA shorts over here dancing with that lady. Where'd he go? I miss anything. I don't think so. But the thing about knives, insta-kill when you throw them at somebody. It's one shot, but hey. No, you put that down. You're not allowed to throw the propane tank. Only I can throw the propane tank. Ha! <laughs> I require your gold teeth. It is special mission. Grab the C4. We'll need it later. <laughs> need anything over here? Nope. Just a knife. Oh, sorry. This way. Spin the bottle. Ow. That was a butcher knife, and it didn't kill you? Oh, that's where Little Tony is. Okay. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh shit! That goddamn psychopath made it all the way up here? What do I even hire you bozos for anyway? Fuck it. Warm your bullets! Nobody's licking Little Tony today! Unless it's actual licking. <laughs> Gross. Did I mention I hate this guy? <laughs> All right. My beautiful door! Fucking die! What? General strategy, and they teach you this later. is a uh, guy with the gun always aim for the guy with the gun first because you know it uh he, they shoot you <laughs> and it hurts look what you did prick <laughs> baby face you are alive oh shit the boss it's gonna find out what you did here! And you know he won't hold back. <coughs> okay, so, some of these people know you, and I get it, you want answers. Who you were, who I am, who's this boss character. We'll answer it all together, but right now, time is limited. There are pretty more Tonys out there, Except they all ain't weak little losers. If we don't find and stop them all before a night's end, this city falls into the hands of that boss. Now let's see if you remember how to hack. Tony's computer might le le might have leads for us. So, of course, you just automatically know how to how to hack a computer. So you bust in, hack this dude's computer, set off an alarm. Kill a guy by throwing a paper uh, a trash bag at him. And then stomp on his on his friend's nuts a few times. Never get the bosses on the boss's radar. I'm searching the area for a quick getaway getaway, but heads up, we got incoming. Oh boy. The muscle! Ah! 
I died. I'm dying a lot, mostly because I put this on hard difficulty. I did it mostly to torture myself. Yeah, I'm just torturing myself. Give me the hammer. Whoa! How did I miss? Where'd it go? I'm just having fun now. Uh, he can't fly. You're not fireproof, you're not bulletproof. You, now remind me, you said you love jumping on the speeding bullet trains, right? Who doesn't? Whee! <laughs> Can he do your taxes? Maybe. Will he want to do your taxes? Probably not. Uh, kick bike items, yeah, that's useful too. Chain throws, not that great. Powerful ground attack, don't make cares about slide. Heavy roll up cut, crouch stun, heavy charge. Really, these are the only two you actually need from here. Parry encounter could be useful. Finishers are, are real nice. Finishers and the gun. When we get to the gun. The gun, the stupid... I have a gun that three has a built-in 3D printer so it can never run out of bullets, technically. Answers. Thing is, I really don't have a whole lot of them, swear. But I can give you this at least. Me, a lowly nobody. Just a hacker with a hatred for bullies and an agenda that involves saving the world. I got into the boss's databases and found you that way. Figured if I woke you first, cause you're, he woke up, woke you up cause you're like a sleeper agent. Kind of, or that's what he claims you are. Figured if I woke you first, I might be able to steer you in a moral, moral direction. Uh-oh, we've got incoming again. Hope you're not tired yet. Tired of your bullshit? Where you going, traitor? Oh, I'm a traitor now? We are the backup plan. <laughs> oh god, this level. Right. Get inside the train. They've got a helicopter with a guy with a sniper rifle.
Yeah. All right, yeah, so this part in the, my first playthrough, this is where I died so many times. So we'll see how this goes. Because <laughs> the sniper can shoot through the window. Another train hit him. More waiting for us. The rack cave. Yeah, buddy. And apparently you can save the gifs of part of the action, and I don't know I don't know how it saves it. I don't know what you can do with it once it saves it. I just know that that's a button. Ah, okay. Let's have... Yeah, let me have the finisher, and the environmental finishers are nice. Yeah. Alright. So, back in the pl train station, I mean the police station. Sounds like this little Tony asshole thought you were dead. You know what that makes you, right? Two things. One, definitely a ghost. And two, a fucking criminal. Oof. Things really aren't looking good for you. They really aren't. But you know what? Let's say for a sec that your story checks out. That you weren't knowingly involved in any of this. It ever occur to you, you might have been set up used isn't it possible this boss was behind this all along now this boss is the kind of guy i want to see in a pretty orange jumpsuit i'm in and you know what if our little ghost here is telling the truth maybe we'll get to see that after all yeah all of us even you ghost from the right side of the bars you get me now what happened next anybody anybody want to take a guess the answer is, we went to the subway station. <laughs> do -do 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 and it's and the soundtrack's killer. And it always tells you the name of the song in the bottom corner. I mean, I think I think my avatar is actually covering it when it appears, but yeah. Rat King. All I found on little Tony's PC was the name and a general location. We're nearby. But let, we'll need to pry, pry the specifics from any bozos we beat down. You got the moves. Put them to work. It's just people. So, you know, here we are. Get to the other side. Climb the stairs. Go down here. Oh no, he's got a shield. What is he, five? He's playing make-believe. Field allows enemy to absorb damage that can be destroyed after a few hits. Yeah. Ow. Fucker had a knife. Oh yeah. Babyface! Alive and back in the game, but playing for the other side, huh? Good timing. City's on the brink. What? You don't recognize me? It's Dex! Feels like just yesterday we were kids palling around for the guy on high. It was crime, sure, but grand scheme, we weren't hurting anyone. Even with us out there, City of Tomorrow was a solid place to live. That's why the name come from. Progress on progress. Till the boss's head grew huge with unsavory ambitions. If only we'd known. But hindsight's 2020, and from what I can see, you're out here doing the right thing for this city. Godspeed, old friend. 
yeah so there's like in every level from now on there's like at least one person who you can talk to and it's just sometimes you have to kind of go out of the way to talk to them Ow. He's still alive! With the knife sticking right in his face! And baby, what? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play stupid. We heard you talking about the Rat King. You said you were going to dump him in the sewers. How'd you even know he was down here if you ain't babyface? Huh? I don't think so. The end is pretty straightforward. It just I just think all the extra stuff is just what you unlock. Like all the extra things you can unlock. The extra clothing. And so, 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 so forth. They're gonna... They shot that guy! They executed that guy! And that means this guy has a gun and he shot me! I know this, but if you take a fire extinguisher and throw it at somebody, it explodes. <laughs> the Rat King's in the sewers. A little on the nose, huh? We'll be sure to tell him so after we smack the crown off his head. Don't be fooled. Pretty much everyone in this town is the boss's pocket, even security. Really? I got... That dude threw a sucker punch and got me. Easiest way to kill a big guy is with a weapon. Really easiest way to kill anybody is with a weapon, but you know, whatever. Oh boy, security. They fight each other. And they fight you. It's kind of annoying. I didn't expect that to just throwing the gun, hitting him in the head to actually win. I did not. Guy on high wouldn't be happy. You idiot. Who do you think sent us? Out of our way. Now. You did not just give me an order. Boys, strip search these trespassers. Over my dead body. Who's running at me? Because I got a knife. And a trash bag. And a trash can. And this guy's nightstick. And this guy's wrench. See, we should be able to... Alright, we gotta take a pee break, though. To the bathroom. This mission's just, like, for fun. <laughs> it's just hilarity.
Because you're just in the bathroom, and you're just running through the bathroom. There we go. Get some finishers going on. Alright, here we are. This bathroom is major... You gotta pee, you gotta pee. Once you're done, we can hit into the abandoned sub. Wait, you hear that? More bozos. Can't even hit the bow in the pee. Well, it doesn't mean we can't have some fun. Nothing like a good bathroom brawl to get the urine flowing. That's, sure, that's what they say. Nothing like a good bathroom brawl to get the urine flowing. Gross, this place smells like flowers. You'd rather it smell like piss and shit? It's just unsettling. Smells pretty good. Makes you want to take a huge whiff, but then you're just inhaling particles. <laughs> you're inhaling them either way, so just stop and smell the roses for once, why don't you? Now how about we focus? Baby Faith could roll through any second while we're using the bathroom. I'm ready for him. Check it out. <laughs> He's got a toilet lid and a plunger. Now I have the plunger. Now I kill guys with the plunger. And I stuck that guy with a plunger. That guy's got a gun. Everybody had to go to the bathroom. Ah, oh, I broke it. I broke it. I think. Steps more on the way. Get ready. Oh, yeah, dicers. Yeah, I forgot about these guys. I died. Pick up these dude giant knives, though. It's kind of depressing. Those were dicers. Some of the bosses elite. <laughs> Turbo meth. <laughs> Must be afraid. Means we better keep up the good work. Onward! And that was the pee break. That was the bathroom level. <laughs> All right. Really a man using a toilet and plunger as a shield and sword. Yeah, really. Welcome to the abandoned subway. Tour entrance shouldn't be too far off now. And then it's Rat King Central. Wonder why they call him that anyway. Let's go find out. I don't want to. Hi, person. I have been putting sodas in for days. Ugh! <laughs> 
Hammer. It's hammer time! They're driving trains through walls now. Wonder if the Rat King knows we're coming. Must be why these nutbags are acting so well. Nuts. Speaking of, you don't think this Rat King is the actual rat, do you? Or worse, the proverbial giant ball of rats? I mean, if it is, that's cool. I just don't want you getting rabies or worse, the plague. You can still get the plague, you know. Be careful. Wait, there we got... Subways closing down? I heard there were subways like in Stokedale closing or something like that. I didn't know there was ones closing, other ones closing down. Change it around here. It's Rat King territory now. This ain't, you ain't guarding shit anymore. Heavy weapon. Reason 6,843 to hate the boss. Guy says everyone is expendable. Everyone. Nice. Train car should get us through to the abandoned area. Boop. You dead. Pipe. Rat King's capable of, and we don't want to find out on accident. I mean, we kind of do find out. I mean, spoiler. Oh no, it's the plague bearers. You dare enter the kingdom of the rat? No bother. <laughs> we welcome for fresh flesh for the rats to feast on. Unless, are you here to take the oath? To live among the ratchets? To, as to ascend to the surface and feed on the filth of every last human in this city until you become worthy of the rat king himself? Gross. No way. Might want to work on your sales pitch. Then let the feast of the flesh begin. Then he shoots himself up with something. I got the Tooth Fairy achievement. Okay. Alright, we walked over here. I don't know. That guy had a gun. This guy over here has got a gun. That guy had a gun. I have never gotten all the all the teeth all the golden teeth from a single level, so it should be interesting. I'm not messing with anyone walking on pavement on or asphalt barefoot. They are next level. No, not really. It's only next level. It's only next level when the when the bare when the pavement or asphalt is hot. It's, it's the ones who can walk barefoot on gravel without any real question that worry me. We're gonna run into full-on rat people. I'm calling it now. Wanna bet? No? You agree? Well, let's hope we're both wrong. Shut up. <laughs> You're wrong.
Gravel is not easy to walk on. Yeah, exactly. That shit hurts. <laughs> uh, okay. Take that one. Train tunnel. <laughs> OG feet. <laughs> Call it country feet. No, no. Oh yeah, this is the little train arena where the trains kill everybody. <laughs> Sorry for yelling. I don't know why I'm parenting you. My bad. Let's just keep an eye on the tracks and listen for trains. Yeah, so the range of the trains is actually... Oh god, move. One of the achievements for this level is you have to get as many you have to kill as many guys using only the train. Oh god. Yeah, I died. Train arena level. Country feet. <laughs> Welcome down to the Lat Rat King's toxic layer. Tint receptors on this thing, but I've got the fume readings and I don't envy whatever it is you're smelling right now. Hopefully we don't have to be down here too long. Let's kill this rat king and get the hell out of here. There's just there's just some dude digging in the sewer. Is he a guy I can talk to? Yep. Is that baby face? It's me, Terry. What am I looking for? No big deal. Just dropped my fiance's wedding ring somewhere down here. Been at it for days. Hey, speaking of, you want to be my best man? No need to answer now. But let me know in the next couple days. Wedding's next weekend. Anyway, see you then. Well, sucks for that guy. Uh, 
Uh. Rat boy! Caught it! <laughs> Ow! 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 <laughs> wow! Okay, that was sad. What did I tell you? That thing was disgusting. What was it even? Some sort of toxic rat venger? Civilians won't stand a chance against those things. We can't let them, any of them live. They get out, that's just insult to injury. And they're just drinking toxic juice. So why not? Drink up, mother dearest. You deserve this. Soon you'll be smearing the flesh jelly of non-believers on their toasted eyeballs while drinking their blood. What? Yeah, you'll smash their toes. I'm sorry. I'm all for the takeover, but this cannibalism stuff is really grossing me out. He did. He did. I didn't, I didn't, how to, how, how. Ah! I've heard the boss does shit like this. Weird experiments on people and shit. He actually gets joy from it. He's sick in the head. Let's end this. Into the water. 
and so forth comes the Rat King, who is not a rat guy. You return to the land of the living, babyface, only to sully it with the blood of my children. Wait a sec, wait a hot sec. You're the Rat King? Where's the toxic gunk? The big ball of rats? You're fraud. I command the kingdom of rat boys and plague bearers. That makes me king. And you, trespassers. The Great One has commanded you to join us in our irradiated symphony so that we may ascend to the opera of blood on the surface above. It is our great, it is our privilege to aid him in eradicating the filth of this once great city, to return it to glory. Tell me, babyface, after many long years away, are you still worthy of his love? Prove it or pay for the blah 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 blah. <laughs> Wow, okay. Unexpected? Nope, that was on me. Good that time. Are you serious? I did it! You monster! My children! My kingdom! And to think, I once had sympathy for you and your child. But worry not, monster. You won't weep for those you've lost much longer. Dead. Your child? You don't know what he was talking about? That sleeper cell hypnosis thingy really did a number on you. Me, I uh, don't know anything about that either. Like I said, up front. Knowledge is limited. But hey, I'll help you find out once we take down the remaining targets. Speaking of, we should get moving. We may have stopped two phases of the boss's operation, but we have many more to go. Let's get out of here. Oh, hell no! Drowning in toxic sludge is not the way you go out. Not today, anyway. Yeah, see? I, I went out by getting hit. Okay, killed that guy. The ladder, go! Yay! Whee! We climb the ladder. We escape to safety. We don't die.
All right, what's up next? Oh, more of this. Are you fucking serious right now? Toxic rat people? Hold on, McClune. We've got, we'll come back to that. How about this child of yours, ghost? That's news. Guy just casually mentioned sympathy for you and your child and you just brush it off? McClune, when do people have sympathy for others? When something fucked up happens to them? When something fucked up happens to them. So this great one, big man, guy on high, whatever the fuck, must have done something bad to your child. And you still don't know what it was? That's messed up. If it were my kid, I'd do anything to protect him. You, Smith man? Oh, absolutely. Anything. We gotta protect our kids, even if it means giving up everything. Oh, absolutely. Anything. We gotta protect our kids, even if it means giving up everything. So tell us, what sort of beast did you fight next? A dragon? No, you do not fight a dragon. Not a... I don't think you do. I didn't fight a dragon. Maybe, maybe, uh, 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 maybe there's, who knows? We'll see. Phew, that was way too close. Bozos and rat boys, you can take for sure. But almost drowning in toxic shit water is a whole other thing. Gonna need to get used to that kind of thing with you, huh? It's just, this sort of kind of my first drone rodeo out in the open. Been used as a house drone until I, uh, went a little rogue. But all good, I'm pumped. We got another target nearby. Her name's Arlena, and she's, and as far as I know, she's not some sort of mutant experiment. Our database just says weapon smuggler, though, so I guess we'll find out. Let's move. You got it, little drone guy. Ah, the shipyard. How many times must I perform for you? I am not your monkey. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't get to read that. I didn't see it, Ash Hole. Quick, while they're distracted. Why'd you give the big guy a gun? Gun. Shipments arrived. Arlena will be thrilled. Got some of the prototype stuff in there for, um, crowd control. Just get it onto the platform quick. Arlena got orders from the guy on high to speed distro up. New guys on it. Wait, what? He hasn't been trained. Bonk. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Okay, okay. Not gonna freak out this time. Just don't get smashed, please. Oh, shit. And what happens? I immediately get smashed. I get smashed again. I rolled right into that. Squish goes the big guy. Yes, Arlena. Wait, who? Babyface? Oh, Babyface. No, I, I mean, everything's been good over here. A little bit of commotion nearby, but I just assumed the others were playing around with the... Yeah, okay, of course. I'll alert the others immediately. 
Pretty sure we're way past the low profile thing at this point. Sounds like they know you pretty well. And they know what we're up to. Means we better get find this Arlena and deal with her. Fast. Let's see if there's the kind of smuggler who can point us in the right direction. And I just, I just stand there. This guy has a gun! talk to this dude. Hey, hey, you shall not pass. Just kidding. Olena hired me to teach these workers a lesson. They've been stealing from her, you know. But since you killed them all, I have less work now. Thanks for that. Good luck out there. I wish it worked like that. We got a loose weapon. I won't tell if you don't. It's one of those experimental prototype revolvers. You know, the ones that have like a 3D printer inside them, making more bullets over time. The way of the future is fucked, huh? I don't know. Sounds awesome to me. I call it dibs. Screw off. I saw it first. It's Babyface. Protect the precious weapons. Now I get a gun. I now have a gun with a 3D printer inside. The smugglers are above us. You know what sucks? Danny and Johnny get to be on the SS smuggler while we're out, we're stuck on lookout. Arlena wants real muscle close by at all times. Says they complain less and do their jobs more. Whatever. We're better at our jobs than them. Case in point, spotted babyface climbing the ladder. Oh shit! And you done too. Yay, bonk. Bonk. Level complete. We've made it onto the ship. Yay. It only gets harder and more frustrating from here. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, damn it. I wanted to get the gun. Oh, well. Ship ahoy! Who the hell are these guys? Not babyface. I could tell you that much. Just a couple of shitty thieves then. Let's show them what happens when you steal from Arlena and the big guy. Shitty thief! <laughs> I don't like the stun gun. I think it's dumb. I think it's a horrible weapon. Shit. 
punch him. Look, it's Popeye, the sailor man. Come on, man, what's your secret? How'd you hulk up so fast? It's it's droids, isn't it? Spinach. What? Injected, straight into the veins, changed life, and others' lives. Um, how could you be alive? You need to see a doctor. No, no doctor. Only smash! No, not this one. The pipe. Give me the pipe. The pipe. I killed. I can't see. There's a cat in the way. I can see now. Gun. Got one bullet. There's still a cat in the way. Oh, this guy's got an actual gun. Give me your gun. Up the stairs. Babyface is here. I repeat, Babyface is fucking here. Reinforcements now. Arlena's gonna have us all killed if we don't get this shipment out ASAP. Yes, I'm serious. Remember Miguel? No, I don't. Oh, come on. Ow. Damn it, Popeye. Damn it, Loki. Loki's up in the way. I have to move him. have to run around like this. In the door and there's Arlena babyface you asshole I can't believe you're making me do this Danny Johnny kill the traitor okay they succeeded I died <laughs> Loki, you're in the way again. Go over there. Stop, buddy. He wants attention. He said, I've been playing the game long enough, even though it hasn't been full stream time yet. I've been playing long enough, and because of that, it is now attention time. So I'm going to pet him, and then I'm going to keep the game going. All right. I killed one. 
And then I killed the other one. Get to the chopper! What happened to platonic partners in crime, huh? This life isn't for everyone, but it was made for us. The one, then one day you just up and disappear, and to top it off, you leave your child behind. That's not what real friends do to friends, or what good parents do to their children. And now you break in here, busting up the whole the operation we built after making me think you were dead all these years. What are you gonna do next, huh? Blow up the oil rig to prevent the foreign shipments? Yes. I don't think so, baby dick. When I'm done with you, you'll wish you were in the fucking ground. Can't see cat in the way. Really, Loki? That's how you gonna do me? That is in way. There was more than one guy with a gun. Okay. Loki? Loki. Hey. Look at me, buddy. I get it, you know? You want attention. Meow, 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 meow. Stop. Stop. Get it get out of my face. Stop it. Stop it. Well, now I'm gonna die because I got stunned and the cat's in the damn way still. Loki, you're making this harder than it needs to be. Can't see because the cat will not stand still. He likes to walk in front of me so I cannot see. Go play with your brother over there. Stop it. I rolled right into him. Her. I rolled right into her. Okay, so far so good. Now I need to be able to see what I'm doing, so stay over there. Once again, every few seconds, the cat jumps into my face and won't just stay in a spot. Go over there, stay off the desk. Loki, I swear to God, bud. I get it. There, I won. 
I knew a friend. The friend I knew would never hurt me. You really don't remember me, do you? Poor baby face. What did he do to you to make you turn? Must have really stung. Once upon a time, you shared the big guy's vision for the city. Total control leads to two, true freedom. <laughs> An end to crime, violence, hunger, hatred, division. Now look at you. Berserk with rage and you don't even know what you're fighting for. Wrong go, lady. We're fighting for the lives and soul of this city. And we won't stop till every last one of you nutbags are gone. You. I know you. Have you told Babyface the truth? Dun, dun, dun. Uh, would you believe me if I told you I didn't know what she was talking about? No? Fair enough. I'll truth bomb you. Promise. And I know how this sounds, but we really don't have time now. So let's make a deal. We blow that oil rig Arlena mentioned to hell. I dropped some knowledge on you. Deal? Deal. Oh, and it looks like we can grab one of Arlena's helicopters to get out of here. I get to pilot something after all. Let's climb in. And somehow the drone controls the helicopter, because that makes sense. And now both the cats are on my desk. Why are you up here, Dusty Boy? You never come up here. Only your hard-headed brother. Nutshot. Oh, I meant to get the gun. Again. I keep forgetting to get the gun. <sighs> Those are some pretty serious allegations this Arlena made against you. Abandoning your poor child, fronting a weapon smuggling up, and then you go and blow up an entire oil rig? Charges on charges. And to top it off, you keep talking about this evil boss that you've never even met. Well, we've done a little digging. If it's the guy we think it is, you're out of your pea-sized mind. Guy's a saint. A philanthropist. A philanthropist. No criminal record. Just the history of bettering the city. No way he's behind this. Tisk tisk tisk. It doesn't look good for you. Even if even if even if you thought we were you were doing the right thing, saving the city, as you say. But you know what? You've got a lot left to tell us. Maybe you exonerate yourself yet. Now, about this lying drone of yours. The drone is the key. Probably not, but you know. I just knew little Tony C4 would come in handy eventually. We owe Arlena thanks for the idea to blow this oil rig to hell. We'll do it in her memory, yeah? Champ, hello, what's wrong? It's what Arlena said about your former life, huh? I get it. It's heavy to learn your moral compass was formerly out of whack. But whatever lowly bullshit the boss planted in your brain clearly got reset when we met. And I'll tell you what, everything you're doing today is making this world a better place. That's all that matters. Now let's go, now let's do what we came here to do. Kick ass and blow shit up. Blokes, why are you just standing around, standing there like a pitchfork and shit? Our next shipment's coming in, but Arlena's gone dark. Word is, Babyface is back and killing everybody. Oi, not this shite again. Babyface is dead, never coming back. Bloody hell, a zombie. Kill it. I got another achievement. Oh yeah.
Look, buddy, we're dealing with a crisis, so hand over what we paid for and head back to whatever free healthcare country you come from. You you give 20% extra, I go, or deal off. How about 20% of my foot up your ass instead? Ha, idiot, ass is tight. You'll never get foot more than 5% in. Guaranteed. <laughs> Give me the wrench. What happens if I run back, like this, and I pick up the gun? The little gun has still got six bullets left in it. And we go down. Oh yeah, couriers. That's an enemy type. Remember, you're escorting a weapon shipment to the mainland, and that's it. No jo joy scuba -ing this time, got it? How about we get the shipment to the mainland and do some sightseeing on the way back? Win-win. What part of no joy scuba -ing did you not get? You've just never been on a night dive. It's magical down there in the dark. We'll go sometime. You'll see. with a crowbar. Um. Brain went, no. Not gonna lie. How in the holy hell did I kill that guy by tossing a freaking uh, foldable ch foldable folding chair at him? All right, now we just run. Now we're on a jet ski, flying away like James Bond. Yay. I won, and the cat went away. He says he's going to get the bullet, but as you noticed, he keeps ignoring the bullet. Anyway, it's time to pilot a jet ski and shoot people. We've pissed off those smugglers something fierce. They may be about to catch up to us, and they may try to kill us. Just a guess. So now you just do this because you have infinite ammo.
Listen, about what Arlena said, telling you the truth and all that, I haven't been totally honest. And it's not because I want to mislead you, it's because you don't need distractions from the mission. I swear. Speaking of distractions, we got more bogeys coming up on our six. Hot tip, if our jet ski catches fire from all the bullets, take one of theirs. So, uh, the truth, the whole truth, so help me God, I... Copters on our tail! Look out! Yeah, we gotta take this annoying ass copter out real quick. Then I'll spill the beans. Hit it with everything you've got. Take that, blowholes. Okay, as I was saying before, we were rudely interrupted. What I told you before about me? Not exactly true. I do hack, I do have a hatred for bullies, and I do want to save the world. I just do it from inside the boss's HQ, where I work. Okay, but wait, before you tear my head off, I'm basically a prisoner here myself. Boss has been using me for messed up shit. But I ain't doing it anymore. Managed to find a hiding spot in the HQ to keep helping you out. Boss is definitely looking for me now. Real sorry I didn't tell you sooner. Thought maybe you wouldn't trust me if you knew the truth. Hope my actions so far earned me a second chance with you though. Now if you're still with me, and I hope you are, let's dock at that harbor over there and get after our next target. Yeah! Our next target, who I don't remember. Ah. All right, this time, bullet. All right. I am. This game's really fun. I should probably... I was honestly debating even before, like, 
play before coming home and playing today, I was like, man, I should probably start doing stuff that's more exciting, more fun when I stream, such as this game, instead of, like, I like Total War, and I'm having a good time, but it's not exciting, you know? It's not uh, interactive enough, I guess. Like, when we were playing Gunfire Reborn over the weekend, uh, not over the weekend, but last Thursday, it was fun, it was quick, doesn't have quite enough diversity to keep like a continual stream because it's the kind of the same levels over and over but you know it's not slow and boring as total war can be so it's also why i stopped playing uh the the like a dragon ishin i like it it's fun but it's very slow going as far as streaming is so this drone drony as you call it so eager to just trust it right out the gate and then you find out it was lying, and instead of smashing it to bits for its betrayal, you just go on trusting. I gotta say, that's pretty noble of you. Most noble act I've heard of. What, didn't think we could see your merits? These are x-ray eyes, son. Now I know this is a bit of a turn from earlier, but here's the thing. We're thinking maybe you really do believe in loyalty and trust. Maybe not so much with this boss, but then again, if what you're saying about his role in the takeover is true, big if, then it's possible you might be redeemable after all. Because let's face it, if you're truly trustworthy, truly honest, truly loyal, then you keep the promises you make, no matter what. We park our little ski do jet ski whatever find us look at the dead body over there so pretty sure it's one of those civilian evacuation centers city officials tried to set up when this whole mess started boss co-opted them pretty quick though made them into honeypots for turning civvies into prisoners or worse flipping them to his side guess what i'm saying is we should probably prepare for some real fugliness Okay. Hold still, little piggy. Gotta drain the life from you. Damn. Pirate. Alright, matey. Go to sleep so we can get you on ice. Rend your chest and extract our treasures. Uh, are those pirates? He means treasure chest, right? Right? <laughs> Nobody in here to talk to. No, there's a fish I could pick up, though. <laughs> Thought the boss was just trying to flip civvies, but this... Sending them to what he th we think they think is a safe space, only to have their organs harvested? Well, there's a special place in hell for people like that. Look, I've got a musket gun. Anyone else want to try and steal organs for themselves? Didn't think so. Really? Really? Huh? <laughs> 
I don't have any bullets, but okay. <laughs> step, 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 step. The Psycho Pirates! <laughs> okay, that does it. Let's eye for an eye these guys and see how they like having their organs on the outside. I got me a sword. A sword. Uh-oh. You know the drill, mateys. Fill the skin bags with product and ship them out. Organs get split between Chef Favreau and the boss as usual. And remember, keep the brains pristine. You damage them, I damage you. That Chef Favreau, those psychos were talking about, he's been the boss's go-to guy for black market gourmet items. They'd call them. We're talking hu endangered animals and apparently human freaking organs now, too. Met the guy a couple times. He thinks he's untouchable. I bet we prove him otherwise. Ah, oh, he shot me. Yeah. Haha. -ha. You know the boss always kept me at arm's length. But I knew some wild experiments were going on behind the closed doors. Never imagined the monster was literally harvesting and using human organs for him. I guess I just pretended whatever it was wasn't happening. Didn't think I could do anything about it anyway. But with you here, all that's changing. I won't forget that. Now let's grab that truck, track down this chef shithead, and force feed him a place, plate of delicious karma. So we jump on this flatbed. He gets inside and apparently knows how to drive a flatbed. Yay. It's good stuff. So you have different bullets, like you have your regular bullet, which is just boom, bang, usually kills, whatever. Electrified bullets to stun guys, power wave, it knocks people away. Hypnotize, it makes them fight for you, which is kind of fun. Binding, which like binds them. And then dart mines, which is just dart mines. They just throw out little darts that blow up. And the way the gun works is that it's a revolver, so it has six bullets in it. Each one... You have one bullet of every type, and so every time you shoot one, it's it gradually refills. So you technically never run out of bullets, but it's not exactly fast. And I don't really use most of that. We'll use the electrified bullet. Oh, uh, the gas station. I remember the gas station. All right. Well, it's that time again, folks. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this little debut or little playthrough of of uh, Midnight Fight Express. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like the game. Hope you maybe give it a, give it a try yourself. You never know. Could you could like it just as much as I do. Anyway, I hope you'll tune in tomorrow where I hopefully will be playing Bolt Gun. And we'll... We actually might be really close to the end of Bolt Gun. I don't know. I just remember we're in Chapter 3. 
So thanks everybody for tuning in. I hope to see you guys tomorrow night. Peace out.